as a prerequisite before even raising funds company should be registered under ministry of corporate affairs and should have necessary licenses for example food safety and standard authority license for food businesses import export code for businesses doing import and export shop and establishment act for business looking out for starting restaurants or any shops for commercial reasons gst registration and so on also you can register your company's trademark as trademark is a intellectual property which differentiates companies product and services from the competitors and registering the company's trademark ensures that no one impersonates your product and services in the market and you secure your company's intellectual property the entrepreneurs should have a business plan and a pitch deck ready around the idea that they are going to present to investors prior heading in for a pitch now before looking into the details of a business plan we shall discuss the company's foundational step one of the important thing before evaluating any company is understanding its mission and vision statement and also understanding the story or journey of the founders before coming up with the idea of starting up the company it is to understand the direction where the company or the individuals are heading and whether their story mission or vision statement resonates with you now one should also understand the essential difference between the mission and vision statement well vision is more aspirational and focuses on the long term or the bigger picture since it's a long term it more or less it doesn't change for any company or organization or an individual it serves as the ultimate destination for example here is a vision statement by alzheimer association a world without alzheimer disease while mission statement on other hand contains all the achievable ambitions for the product in a simple and concise way mission statement deals with the how part that means it focuses on the current and medium to short term goals that ultimately will help in realizing the product vision for example the mission statement for the company honesty is to create and promote great tasting healthy and organic beverages once you have the mission and vision statement set for your company then most important thing is how you will connect which is what strategies you will have in place to achieve your company vision using your company mission the strategy is built around the goals that you want to achieve within a particular time frame which could be monthly quarterly or annual the goals could be for example how many customers you plan to reach or how many sales you want to make or milestones that you need to achieve to reach your goal so basically the strategy includes series of ways or direction that you gonna take under various external circumstances to achieve your goals it includes thinking through the various potential risks that could appear in the near future and planning out mitigating steps that you are gonna take to overcome those risks and keep moving forward towards your goal it requires thorough understanding of the market and competition analysis and defining the path that you are gonna take and then comes the execution in which you implement the strategy which includes steps to make to reach your destination of achieving your product vision in this you will be executing the goals that you have defined as part of the strategy that needs to be achieved to reach your product vision so having defined the mission vision statements strategy and execution you have laid out the foundation for the company and all these are part of business plan